Welcome to the Phone Suite Console Training Series. These videos are organized to allow you to view the entire series in five short lessons, or to jump to or view only the sections you need to to begin using the console. This is Lesson 2, Basic Call Handling. Other lessons are Getting to know your Phone Suite Console, Basic Guest Settings and Functions, Advanced Call Handling, and Advanced Guest Settings and Functions. This lesson assumes you are familiar with the layout of the console, explained in the previous lesson. When the console is idle, the LCD display will show the current time and date, along with a hint that by pressing the A command key, you can access guest features, or access basic admin functions, by pressing the star key on the keypad. In order for reports to be accurate, and especially for automatic wake-up calls to be delivered at the right time, be sure the idle display always shows the correct time and date. And if not, Press the star key and the display will change to show two options, time 1 and date 2. Press 1 to set the time, and the display will change to indicate you need to enter the time as four digits, in military or 24-hour format. Use the keypad to enter the four digits. Be sure to start with the zero key if the time is before 10 a.m. Press the pound or enter key to save, or press the D key to exit without saving. Do the same for the date, if that is not correct. Adjust the console ring volume using the ringing volume up and down keys at the right of the feature key area. Note that the lowest volume setting turns the ringing off. When an incoming call arrives at the console, it flashes one of the four call buttons. Note that calls from outside the hotel ring with one long ring and will display the trunk or 800 line the call is on next to the button while calls from guests and other inside phones show the extension number and ring with two short rings. If your phone suite system is connected to the Hotel Property Management System's PBX interface, the name of the guest or the phone name will display instead of the extension number. To answer the call, press the button that is flashing. The button will light solid and you will be speaking with the calling party. To place a call on hold, simply press the call button that has the current call. The button will change from solid to blinking and the caller will be connected to your music on hold source if one was installed, or silence if there is no hold music connection. You can now answer or make a new call. If the caller is left on hold for longer than the programmable hold timer value, the call will ring back to the console with a triple ring pattern to notify you that this is a call that was on hold too long. To retrieve a call from hold, press the flashing call button. Transferring Calls To transfer a call, while connected to a caller, simply dial the number of the extension or group you wish to transfer the caller to. As soon as you begin dialing, the caller will be placed on standby hold and hear hold music, and a new call button will automatically light to start the call transfer. To talk with the person you just dialed in what is called a supervised transfer, Stay on the line and chat with the destination party, for example, to ensure they are ready to take the call. Frank, I have Steve on the line. To complete this transfer, press the C key for connect. The two parties will be connected and the two call buttons will go dark. Instead of completing the transfer, you can drop the transfer attempt and start over by pressing the D key to drop the transfer. The new call button will go dark and the call button holding the original caller will again light solid. You will be reconnected to the original caller. If you simply want to transfer the caller without talking to the destination first, simply press the C key to immediately connect the caller to the destination. The two call buttons will go dark and the original caller will automatically hear the ringing or busy signal or be connected to the destination mailbox. A call that has been placed on hold can be transferred without first taking the call off of hold. Start a new call to the destination and complete the transfer anytime by pressing the call button for the held call and then press C for connect. The two parties will be automatically connected. You can transfer a call directly into an extension's voicemail box by adding the digit 8 to the end of the destination extension number. Note that the 8 key also has the letter V for voicemail to help remember this. If a call is transferred to an extension that does not have a voicemail box, and the destination is busy or does not answer, the original call will ring back to the console as a transfer recall. The console will ring with a triple ring pattern and the call may come back to a different call button. Calls can be transferred to destinations outside the building. 
This can result in long distance charges, so be sure to understand your hotel's policy on outside transfers. Transfer calls answered at the console outside the building, just as described earlier. But instead of an extension number, you must dial 9 or 8 first, and then the destination number. Speed dial numbers described later can also be dialed. Both supervised and blind transfers outside the hotel can be made. If for some reason you must dial DTMF digits on a call you answer at the console, such as for automated survey calls, you must first dial the pound key or number sign, and then the digits you dial will send DTMF tones. Placing Calls To place a call to an extension in the hotel from the idle console, simply dial the number. There is no need to press an idle call button first, although you can if you wish. Note that if you call an extension from the console, the call will never go to the extension's voicemail automatically. This is to allow a special console barge-in feature, described in the advanced lessons. To drop into the extension's voicemail box when calling from the console, simply press the 8 key or V for voicemail any time after dialing the extension and before the party answers. In fact, you can call directly to a guest or admin voicemail box by dialing the extension number and immediately pressing the 8 or V key. The destination phone will not ring and you will immediately hear the voicemail greeting. This is a good technique for delivering a message without bothering a guest or a staff member having a meeting in their office who has not set their phone to do not disturb. Recall that this can also be used when transferring calls. To place a call outside the hotel, simply dial the trunk group number, usually 9, and then the destination number. There is no need to press an unused call button first, but you may do so if you wish. Either way, a call button will light so that you can transfer or hold the call if needed. You can also place an outside call using any of the speed dials that were programmed by your certified phone suite installer. Simply dial the trunk group number, then the star key, and then the number of the speed dial. For consistency, we recommend using speed dial 1 for the brand's National Reservation Center and speed dial 9 for your certified phone suite dealer. Other speed dial numbers can be mapped to the speed dial buttons on your guest room phones. To use the console to retrieve voicemail for a guest or staff member, dial the extension number then 8 or V for voicemail and at the voicemail greeting dial the voicemail PIN number if the PIN number has not been set by the guest or staff member. The default is the extension number, so use that. You can now retrieve the voicemail messages.